Yo, was geht up? This is Max Berger and in this video we'll be talking about influencers and how they're scamming you on a daily basis into thinking that the influencer life is something to strive for. But I'm going to break it to you right away. Most influencers out there are completely broke and miserable. It's going to be a little bit of a ranty video, but I'm going to share with you exclusive insights and the truth about influencers. So let's head inside uh, and let's crack right into it. Have you ever wondered whether there's more to life than a boring dead end nine to five job? Have you ever dreamed about breaking free, you know, traveling the world, making good money and just enjoying life? My name is Max Berger and I've attained that freedom. No more office dress code, no morning commute, no boss. This channel is for you. So here's to your freedom. Okay, so first of all, you've probably clicked on this video because it's some, some quite clickbaity title, right? But it's true. Most influencers out there, most of the people that you see on Instagram, you know, flying the first class tickets, going to the nice resorts and just living the life, everybody, you know, money and cars and travel and they look beautiful and all that. It's all a scam, dude. Most of these people are broke, okay? Instagram influencers or influencers in general, most of the YouTube people, they're literally broke. Now, I have to say that I have some really good influencer friends that are absolutely crushing it. They're running legit businesses on the side and they're actually um, um, paying for their great lifestyle because they're making that money, you know. My friends from ProBroWare, those are absolutely cool dudes, absolutely crushing it in all kinds of areas in their life. But listen, most people that you follow and admire on Instagram are literally broke. Okay, this is the craziest thing. People think like, oh, like once you have a million followers, you're automatically rich. But really, like, l let's break it down. Where does the money come from if you have a million followers? You're, gonna, you're just gonna randomly get a bunch of money from each and every one of those followers. Like if only every follower pays me one dollar, I make a million dollars, right? No, you gotta understand that social media has, has created a world where you can literally look like you're the coolest person ever, but it's all facade, it's all fake. You can literally look, look at most of the people that you follow that have over a million followers, probably, you know, a bunch of attractive girls that, that are showing like very, very sexualized content of themselves in like bikinis and shaking their asses and stuff like that. They're broke. They're all literally broke. They have no money. You gotta understand that. There's so much ego feeding going on that these people are posting. Obviously not everybody, again, there's exceptions like I just mentioned, but there's so much ego feeding of this like, look, I'm so cool that I'm getting all this for free. Free first class flight, free vacation in the resort, free car, free this. I'm on this great event where everybody's clapping and applauding and taking pictures with me. Oh, and I'm so grateful for my fans and I love my fans and all that. It's created this world where it's all about the ego. It's all about showing that you have, that you have, that you have. In all honesty, most influencers are not only broke, but they're also absolutely miserable. They're not even enjoying their life anymore. They're not sitting there with friends. We're like, we're sitting here, we're smoking shisha, you know? They're not, the, the first thing that they're doing is the food comes on the table like, oh, Instagram, 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 get it, get the shot, get the shot. And whenever you're doing something really cool, they're so focused on getting the best shot, getting the best documentation of that. Now, that in essence used to be something great, you know, like Gary Vee says, document, not create. Like document your life, document your life, inspire other people but it has become twisted and turned and being fed by the ego so much that it has turned into this like, my life is a show and I can't even enjoy it anymore. I got a show that I have even though I feel miserable inside and even though I'm actually broke. Now again, I'm guilty of that just as much. I'm guilty of that just as much. When the food comes, I'm like, let's post it on Instagram because I want to show great lifestyle. And I have to force myself. I have to come up with tremendous, tremendous willpower to you know, take a picture of the food and then put the phone away and let it be. In fact, what I do nowadays on a side note here, and we're gonna get cr back on, cra on, on track with the money making in a second, what I do is I literally just film it and then just post it later. I don't even film it directly through the app anymore. And I'm thinking about like, if I gotta do that and if I'm, if I'm conscious about that and if it takes me already so much willpower, how, how bad is it for most influencers? And I can see it. I'm in contact with some of them and, and it's crazy, they're absolutely miserable. So you gotta understand that there's a lot of ego feeding coming on, okay? And yeah, you know, okay, and it's great, you're getting a lot of shit for free and you got all these people looking up to you, but at the end of the day, you're still broke. You're still broke. And the crazy thing is too, there's this whole lie being built that it's all about having. And it's not about getting there. 
really like it. Go on Instagram. Again, like who takes pictures, who takes an Instagram story of them working, you know, getting up or late at night, like I'm still there hustling, putting in the work. Life is tough. Today I'm not feeling good, but I'm executing anyway. Who does that? No, they're all happy face, chilling with the friends. I have all these great things for free. It's creating this whole lie. And we, the consumers, we consume that. And then we always think like, oh, here I am, I'm miserable, my life sucks compared to the Instagram influencer. Because it has created this entire fake world of it's all about having and not about getting. And then what do people do? Barely anybody reads books anymore. Barely anybody joins courses that can actually give them knowledge in order to strive and make real money. Everybody's just trying to show that they don't have to impress people that they actually don't care about. Yes, was a Fight Club quote. You understand that? Don't buy into the slide. And then it's crazy because nowadays people want to become influencers, right? How to become an influencer? How to get a lot of Instagram followers? Dude, become an entrepreneur. That's much better. Life as an influencer, again, sucks. You're broke. Instead, you should learn how to become an entrepreneur. But an entrepreneur is always associated with, oh, hard work and you need a lot of luck and you have to have a business idea, blah, blah, blah. No, I'd rather become an influencer and get for free. Not really a smart idea. Not really something I would bet my life on, you know, in terms of longevity over the next 10, 15, 20 years. Because being an influencer is not even sustainable, yo. It's not sustainable. Now, let's say you do connect the dots halfway through, right? And you say, okay, um, I do want to become an entrepreneur, so I need to get a lot of followers, right? I need to have huge social media reach in order to make money. That's not true. That's the next lie. Here's the crazy thing. You don't need a big brand in order to make money. You don't need to have a thousand, you don't even need a thousand followers on Instagram in order to make money. People always think they got to get all the followers first, build this great movement and really fake an epic life that they don't have, that they can't afford. And then they can start building a business around that and sell to their followers. Not at all. That's not true. And we're going we're gonna to go full circle on that later. We're going to talk about this in a second. Money first. This is something that we're teaching in the Freedom Business Mentoring Program. Look, when you want to live, your oxygen is money. We live in a capitalistic society. You need money first, then reach. Write it down. Money first, then reach. Okay, and again, we're going to talk about this in a second later. But at first, let's, let's look at the facts here. Let's look at how most influencers make their money, you know? Usually, as an influencer with a big audience, you're going to do brand deals. Okay, what is a brand deal? A brand deal is, let's say you have a million followers, let's say you have 200,000 followers, um, certain brands will reach out to you. And I know that because I have, what, right now, 90,000 followers or something. I see that because I'm getting emails by all these brands and they say, look, we like your audience. Uh, your audience fits well to our target audience. We're going to give you certain for free. Okay. You're going to wear the watch for free. You're going to wear the shirt for free. You're going to travel for free. And then you're going to promote this to your audience. And in return, not only are you getting this for free, in return, you're getting between 10 and 20% of what people buy through you. Okay. This is, you can always see that in an influencer when they say, use my code to get 10% off, right? 10% off because they use your code, 10% will go to you and the company that uh, you're in a brand deal with, they get 80%, right? Now, here's the thing. You can literally calculate that in your own head. You're a hot Instagram model with a million followers, you know, and you say, oh, this is the bikini. I really like it, blah, blah, blah. You can use my code to get 10% off. How many people are actually going to buy that bikini? How many, gonna buy, how many people are going to buy that bikini for, let's say the bikini costs 50 bucks. It's an expensive bikini. Most of the bikinis are way cheaper. Let's say... Um, 50 bucks per bikini. She has a million followers. I would say 70% of the million followers of the hot Instagram models are horny dudes. So they're not going to buy the bikini. So her target audience is already 30% only of her 1 million followers. Let's say, let's say a thousand people are going to buy that bikini, which is extremely conservatively calculated. No way there's going to be a thousand people. Okay. But let's say a thousand people are going to buy that bikini for 50,000. So overall, it's $50,000 in revenue. And out of that, they get 10%. 10% of $50,000 is $5,000. So, okay, so she gets $5,000 from, from a brand deal, which is extremely conservatively measured. That is nothing. You got to understand that. That is nothing. How many brand deals can that person do per month? You got to understand it. And again, it's all about the ego. But I get the bikinis for free. That's great. I want to have for free. Yeah, it's great to have for free it's great to get five thousand dollar brand deals but again do you want to build a life upon that do you want to you know create a family about some schmuck brand deals and how much control do you have over these brand deals 
What if there's, over the years, other hot girls that are also getting all these million followers? So now you have more competition. What makes you stand out? Do you want to have an even hotter booty than that girl? Again, that's just the influencer model type of example, but you can, you can put that on any kind of example. Whatever influencer lifestyle you have, there's another guy, another girl doing that as well. And at some point, what happens is when there's more supply of influencers, well, the demand goes down and also the price goes down. So all these companies are gonna be like, you know what, we're gonna give you less percent because the other person is gonna do it for a smaller cut. So at the end of the day, is it really sustainable? Can you sustain a life from that? No, you cannot. You need to build a legitimate business if you wanna sustain a life. And also, again, you don't have control over that. And I, I see that too. I know many Instagram models, and you know what they do all day? They literally, all day, all day, they copy paste emails that they send out to all kinds of brands saying, can I have this for free? This is my Instagram account. Look, I'm really hot. Please give me this for free. Is that, is that what you wanna do for your whole life? Hey mommy, hey daddy, what is your job? Well, we write companies how to give a for free, so you better pray that we're gonna get some nice education deals for you for free, little kid. Again, I, I hope I can kind of crack the surface of the little facade of what it means to be an influencer. It means a life full of being broke, a life full of being pressured to look cool, a life full of you have to post, happy faces every day and if you have a down period over a week or a month you still have to force that happy face and you're continuously being reliant on brands being good enough to give you for free and give you brand deals it's bad and here's the next crazy thing you, you see that you can literally just you know scroll through certain influencers they always they always write their profile co-founder of and it's usually always some like shady sh company, co-founder of the iPhone design cases. Great. So now you're the co-founder of your iPhone design cases that you're selling for $9.99 on your Instagram to your audience that is 80% people that are not even engaged in you because you as an influencer have never learned the skill of public speaking, of copywriting. All you're doing is look cool. So you're not even going to sell a lot. Most of the people that are following you are not even willing to buy from you. And now you're going to sell $9.99 cases or $50 handbags that are your design stuff like that. Great that you're the co-founder of that. How much do you as the viewer, how much do you really think these people are making of their businesses? They have no idea about businesses. They know how to look cool on Instagram. That is their skill. It's not monetizable. And most importantly, most of these influencers are relying on one single platform. How many of the 1 million Instagram account models do you know on YouTube? Well, probably not much because they don't know how to speak. So what are you gonna do when they take down Instagram and poof, you're not a model anymore? <laughs> you're literally gonna go from all this fame and all this attention and all this fake world to zero. You cannot put all your ba eggs into one basket. You don't want to have only one channel that you can use to reach your audience. Most influencers do that. So am I hyped that I have 90,000 or whatever followers on Instagram? Yeah, absolutely. Be because I have a business that is sustained by that. And what else does my business do? I'm reaching you over YouTube. What else does my business do? I have coaches. What else does my business do? Take away all the social media from me. I can still run paid ads. Take away all the paid ads, all the social media from me. I can literally learn how to generate leads manually. I can go to events. I can go to free Facebook groups. I can literally generate leads manually. I know how to sell. I know how to give value. I know how to public speak. That is what entrepreneurship does to you. That is, you know, if you're a coach, consultant, service provider, you first learn how to make money, how to get oxygen for your life and for your business. You first learn how to generate leads out of nothing, without social media, without YouTube, without any of that. You don't need any of that. And most importantly, it's just so much more fulfilling knowing that all the nice things you're buying, all the great experience that you're having, all these things are coming to you because you can afford it, because you're honestly working for it, not because somebody gives it to you for free. How fulfilling is it when you're going on a vacation with your beautiful partner and you're having such a good time and you know you've worked on that, you've deserved that and you kind of look back to the times when you used to be broke and you've hustled yourself honestly and with proper work to that place where you can afford all these amazing things. That is why I always prefer being actually wealthy over being an influencer who gets 
for free. This is also, by the way, something that people in a Freedom Business Mentoring learn how to generate leads manually without having to have a big reach, without having to have a big brand. Hell, most of the people that we teach have no brand at all, yet they learn how to generate a four to five figure a month income for themselves. And what do you do now? Now that you have oxygen, now that you breathe, now that you can learn how to live on your own terms with that money, you can sustain your own lifestyle. Then if you still want to, you can start building a brand around that. When you already have clients, when you're already making money, when you're already free, now you can document it. Now you can document the real life of that it means to be you. How cool is that? You don't have to fake something. You don't have to freak out like this guy in the car, like, where is all my money? I'm an influencer, I make a million, I have a million followers, where's my million dollars, right? First, learn to make money, okay? Get the money, aka the oxygen, then get the reach. And please, stop believing what you see on Instagram or on YouTube, etc. This is why I'm trying to post so much that I'm hustling, that I'm working. I'm trying to show you the downsides of the influencer life as well. I'm trying to be authentic and transparent with this stuff because I want you to, to, to I want to reel you out of, of the fake shiny world of Instagram influencers and I want to prove you what real life looks like. Most importantly, I want to show you that you can do it as well, that you can start earning money without having to have million followers, without having to have a big brand. So stop believing what the fake Instagram influencer world is trying to make you believe. And last but not least, I wanna give you something positive on your way here, and that is, it's probably even for the better. It's probably even for the better that 99% of the population is having their eyes on the influencers and they all want the shiny influencer life. Because if you are smart enough to step up and understand that it's about money first and then reach, you can step up, you execute a couple points correctly, you start earning real money by giving real value to real people, and then you're actually living the life that the influencers are trying to make you believe they're living the life, okay? Because at the end of the day, do you wanna be reliant on getting free in order to look cool and impress people that you don't care about? Or do you wanna be wealthy enough to just buy it? You're in control. And you can say, I can fly wherever I want, whenever I want, because I can literally financially afford it. Instead of having to hope that some company is gonna give me for free. How cool is that? So, if you wanna work together with me and my team, if you want to become a coach, consultant, service provider, if you think you have a skill, or you're not even sure yet what kind of skill you have, but you wanna be able to monetize it, then click that link down in the description below, jump on a free consultation call with us, and we'll help you get started. So if you already have a skill and you wanna monetize it better, get on a call with us. If you don't know quite yet what it is, but you do wanna get into the coaching, consulting, service providing business, then both, either way, it's for you. Why is that important for you? Because that is all I know, okay? That is the one thing that I'm really, really good at. I know how to become a coach that is very, very good at what he's doing. I know how to become a coach that is being paid very, very well while at the same time giving great value to the clients. And I know how to become a coach that can build a really, really good brand around them. But first, money. Okay, so again, uh, click on that link in the description down below. Jump on a free consulting call. You can literally, if you click on that link, it brings you to an application, takes you two minutes to fill that out. And uh, oh yeah, and then uh, you can pick the exact time and date where you want us to call you. Even if it's international, it's entirely for free. So remember, this video has been a complete waste of your time unless you're putting it in the action. And a great way to do that is to jump on a free consulting call with us. Thank you so much for watching and GG. Cheers.